Coventry University is the only one university which provides a combination of both pharmacology and drug discovery. Can you put it in details how it benefits for the students? Here they are combining the industry side and the hospital side. And the beauty of this program, this program is supported by Pfizer Johnson kind of company. Here the university will arrange a, a placement date, which means you will get a meaningful placement in a company as an internship trainee with the salary. The project that they are doing is a live project in a company's lab. You can publish it. There is no tuition fee. Tuition fee is only one year. Your master's done. When you look at all the challenges coming in UK, you must also understand healthcare is still welcome. So, we have seen many universities which provides either pharmacology or drug discovery masters. But Coventry University is the only one university which provides a combination of both pharmacology and drug discovery. Can you put it in details how it benefits for the students? Okay. Uh, this actually became a great solution for a lot of pharmacy students because students, especially after PharmD, they are mentally prepared to go to the hospital. Considering the recent changes, uh, changes in the recent past, people are now thinking between hospital and industry. And this program, if you ask me, came like an angel saying, I have a combination between drug discovery and you can work in R&D and drug discovery of a industry of a company and because of pharmacology you can work in the clinical side and on the quality of a hospital also okay this actually became a big news and a, a positive news for a lot of students and especially for pharmacy uh, pharmacy students yeah now look at how they came with this combination you have seen in university called cork now they are saying msc in pharmaceutical science with operations management yes, yes. you see the combinations yes. now or griffith is saying now pharmaceutical with it combinations I have seen that. So, like that, I would say this is the great combination because here they are combining the industry side and the hospital side. Okay, and students are very comfortable today, maybe after one year time. Let me see the hospital. If it is attractive, I want to continue there or I can move to the industry. Okay, and the beauty of this program, this program is supported by Pfizer Johnson kind of companies. Okay, for their internships and for their lab assistants, etc. etc. Have you seen the syllabus of the program and they say their their projects and their research from bunch to besides? Yeah, which means they are saying you can directly publish it live. Understand? So research university, university ranked so high in the world and giving you one year program and a combination of drug discovery and pharmacology. So, you mentioned a term called bench to beside. Can you please put it in details? Okay. The technical word uh, normally used when you use the company's lab for the project. For example, I said, you know, Pharma is conducting some programs. So, the lab is set by, you know, Pharma. So, the project that they are doing is a live project in a company's lab. You can publish it. Okay. Like that, commentary supported by Johnson and Pfizer kind of companies for their drug discovery pharmacology program. So, many of your projects are live projects. You can directly go and publish it. It's a big advantage for the students. I'm not sitting in the college lab, practical lab to do it in a dummy model. No, I'm doing it live. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another beauty of this program is it, it has got a professional placement year. I've seen the brackets. You can say one year professional. Yes, yes. There is no tuition fee. Tuition fee is only one year. Your master's done. But next one more year, you can go for a professional experience if you want, which means like family students will go to hospital yes. who arrange it. The college will arrange it. It's a part of their program. Like that, here the university will arrange a, a placement year, which means you will get a meaningful placement in a company as an internship trainee with the salary. So I studied one year at the campus, one year I'm going for a professional placement. Then I have two more years for my post-study work visa. So my total time given in UK will become four years. Understand? And if you have IELTS and all that, you can join for this placement year. If you say, no, I don't want a placement year. I have two years of PSW. I know how to look for a job. You can skip it. Don't go for it. Okay. So this professional experience was very famous before the PSW. Now, since we have this payback time, you don't have, it's not compulsory, but if you want, you can go for it. So yeah. student has to apply for this. Uh, uh, after reaching there. Okay. After reaching there, there's, there's time, few months time. In that, they can decide and you can apply during the end of first semester saying, I want professional experience also. Okay. My salary is from 3,000 pounds, which is 3 lakhs may come down to 2,000 pounds because I'm internship training. But I'm getting a meaningful placement year one. I don't have to look for a job. The campus will take care of it. Okay. So okay. Yeah. That's the beauty of this uh, program. Yes. So, recently UK has been updating their visa formalities. Like uh, that spouse accompaniment visa and all they have taken off, no? So, the students who are looking for masters in UK, will it affect for them also these kind of formalities? Okay. 
ദാറ്റ്സ് എ ബിഗ് ന്യൂസ് നൗ എ ഡേസ് ഇൻ സോഷ്യൽ മീഡിയ യു കെയിൽ സ്ഥലമില്ല യു കെയിൽ പോയാൽ ഇനി ജോലി ഉണ്ടാവില്ല സ്പൗസ് കൺ നോട്ട് ഗോ ആൻഡ് പീപ്പിൾ ആർ സ്റ്റേയിങ് ഓൺ ദ റോഡ് എക്സെട്രാ ഓൺലി ഫോർ ദിസ് ഐ വെൻറ്റ് യു കെ only for this purpose because i believe in itube not in youtube let me physically go see what's happening in uk and i saw our students how do they stay how the placements are etc etc so my answer to your question now uh, yes whatever you said is right there is a reality in it uk was expecting i think i spoke this in the previous episode once uk was expecting 3 to 3 and a half lakhs of of students in a year okay when they launched psw post study work visa but including spouse accompaniment and including the excitement for many uh, uh, countries and also some people from ukraine etc etc they have received 5 to 6 lakhs per year so uk became became a little crowded it became a topic in their ministries and ministers were against and uk people were saying how can we survive a lot of people come from outside like this so they said they have to regulate mm-hmm. but the same ministry said we cannot regulate it fully because uk's economy is also depending upon the education system okay education is contributing a big item to their economy right so they cannot stop it so they said we will be very choosy now okay. so what do we mean by choosy so they said we are going to uh, stop the spouse accompaniment so one person coming for study the spouse also come children also come that stop now second one they are saying to get the work permit maybe 26000 27000 was the uh, per year salary is required for work permit we will increase to 35 36000 maybe so uh, 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 you know average job will not be considered as job okay so you have to choose the right universities and right programs and spouse will come only later okay you have to be very choosy now mm-hmm. but if you see the whole statements all changes at all that you will see sentence healthcare industry is exempted from all this okay okay this is a beautiful sentence that okay it's pharma students it will not affect exactly healthcare industry is exempted from all this which means healthcare don't worry because it's still my critical skill shortage understand so they will still come and their salary rules may not be spouse accompaniment is not there as of now but now they are thinking how do they accommodate healthcare because if healthcare stop you can be trapped for healthcare they are depending on india or they have only philippines and they are very happy with india okay so uh, when you look at all the challenges coming in uk you must also understand healthcare is still welcoming actually have you seen some of our engineering students moving to healthcare yes, have you seen some of our other science students coming to healthcare what did they say is to get the visas sir is to getting the salaries is to getting the pr so let me move higher payments also higher payments also understand so people are saying healthcare healthcare it's no problem in uk but when you go for a general management program in a general college average college you have to be very careful because rules are changed in uk thank you so much sir for your valuable time and your final message to the students my message to the students uh, see uh, don't say big no to uk okay don't, no, don't ever say no to uk but you have to be very choosy while choosing uk now yeah general programs and general universities please try and avoid as much as possible top universities like aston and coventrys and manchester liverpool birmingham etc etc including greenwich which are placement oriented yeah their their placements history for the last one or two years will tell you how good they are you can choose a program and healthcare pharmaceutical don't worry all the new rules but this this areas are exempted yeah so you can go to uk continue going to uk but be very careful while choosing the university and the program all the best